Hello Information Overdrive fans, we're coming to you from Cruise Control's main office. So I have a trade show in a couple weeks and I've hired one of Cruise Control's crews to do the shooting. They're going to shoot everything on the PMW EX3 camera and we're going to do S by S wrangling. Normally the crews do their own wrangling, but this year I'm going to take that on myself. So let's see how it works out. In addition to producing, writing, and hosting the podcast, I'm also going to be doing my own data wrangling for the trade show. Okay, so let's back up. What is data wrangling or media management? It just means the media that you record onto is moved to a different media type. That's it. First, we need to make sure that my computer, Sony's plugins for XDCAM EX, and the S by S media are compatible. So we'll go online and look up the software and hardware requirements. FYI, most Sony camera formats have their own microsites. We're going to the resource tab and then going down to downloads, then clicking on XTCAM EX Clip Browser version 2.6 for Windows or Mac. This screen is where you'll find your Mac system requirements. On your Mac, go to the Apple and hit About This Mac. My Mac's operating systems are correct. So let the downloading commence. We need two plugins and one driver. The PDZK P1 XTCAM transfer software version 2.11, the XTCAM EX clip browser version 2.6 for Windows and Mac, and the S by S drivers for Mac and Windows. You will need this driver if you're going to ingest the footage via your PCI Express card slot or an external card reader. Once you're on this screen, you're going to want to click the very top plugin. It will be the highest version. We're almost ready to start wrangling, but there's one more thing we need to know. What do we need to know, Cricket? Inputs! Inputs. I have a Firewire 800, three USB ports, and a PCR Express card slot. Look how cute this hard drive is. It's so tiny and compact. I love it. Mwah. So we've plugged in our GTEC drive and we're ready to move the files. Okay, so we're gonna open up our G drive and make a folder. Now we're gonna drag the media from the VPAV folder on the card into the G drive mini, to the folder that we named XDCAM EX. You can see that it's copying. So now we've moved the VPAV folder to our XDCAM EX media folder that we created on 329.10. And this is a good time to point out, um, we need to keep the BPAV folder intact. If you change the names or move the files, you will lose your media. Before we verify that the media is actually on our hard drive, it is important to first eject the S by S card. Well, that's it for us today, information over drivers. I wanna hear what your thoughts are. So please go to CAM, cruise control on our tweet page and you can give us information about XDCAM workflow or pretty much anything else in general. And remember, we are also on YouTube and we're on iTunes. We want to hear from you so make sure you give us comments and rate the videos. Thanks everyone. See you next time. So where do you download information over Drive? Go to Cruise Control's website and click podcast.